This is the unboxing of the XYZ printing DaVinci 1.0 AIO. It just arrived and this is the box it comes in. So what I'm going to do now is get started and After removing the straps and open up cutting the tape and open up the box. Uh, you can see we've got some we've got a panel here which is holding the instructions, the USB cable, the steel brush for cleaning the printer, some steel wires, I'm not sure what they're for, for yet, glue for the printed heat bed, as the DaVinci's got all DaVinci's have got the printed heat bed, the side panels, which I'm not sure what are for yet. Uh, down here we have some, we have the power cable and we also have the scanner, the DaVinci 1.0 AIO's scanner calibrator unit which is useful. Okay, after you lift the DaVinci out of the box and remove the outer packaging you can see that there's some orange straps here and there some safety straps, some safety packaging straps. Quite a lot of good packaging as well to make sure that your DaVinci comes without any scratches, which is always nice. It's good to have a, a product that comes without any scratches. scratches. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of the packaging support. Protective sleeves on the DaVinci packaging really does help to keep it give it a clean surface when it arrives to you. It's nice and smooth. Which is great. On the door as well. Lots of packaging in the inside to make sure it doesn't break when it comes to you, which is fantastic. So let's move this stuff out here. Okay, after removing the packaging from the inside of the DaVinci 1.0 AIO, you can see the scanner here. Then we've got the build plate, and then we've also got the other top scanner here. Still got some more packaging supports to remove, like this orange thing here, and these two parts up here, and also the cover. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. XYZ Printing DaVinci 1.0 AIO is now finally unboxed. It's a nice looking unit. It's a blue and greyish colour. All the panels are quite smooth, which is nice. The packaging's really helped to protect it. Inside the box, we've got the, the filament, the calibration unit, the steel brush, pins for cleaning the printer head, the scraper for removing your models, USB cable for connecting your PC with your computer. Some glue for making your models stick to the heated print bed, and also your power cable, which is great. Getting around the XYZ printing DaVinci 1.0 AIO is quite simple. Up here we have our display panel and our keys for input. We've got this photo board option, which is a backlit option where you can 3D print your pictures or your own face and you can place that on there as a way of personalizing the DaVinci AIO. Inside we've got the, the door, the door's actually got these magnetic clips so it's quite a firm seal when it's closed. Inside we've got the heated print bed, scanner and the upper scanner. We've also underneath here, quite conveniently, we have the small turntable which the object rotates around which is really cool. Going around to the side, we've got the and we've got this on the, your power cable, power button, and also your USB port for plugging things in. At the top, we have the top cover here, which you can see inside the 3D printer. Yeah, and we also have where we put the USB, the uh, not the USB, sorry, the filament in here. 
So it's all really quite simple. Okay, so first off, let's get the filament and install it. So we need to remove this plastic tape here. And we also need to unlock the XYZ printing filament here. And as it says here, we need to remove this part before using. So we'll take this out. Yeah, there we go. Now, the filament goes, it's installed through the top. We need to remove this plastic holder. And let's see. If we take this part out here. Now, what I notice with the filament cartridges that they are is that the filament comes in a cartridge and it also has this chip at the bottom. So, you need to make sure that the filament cartridge is installed with the chip aligning with these two components down here. So we put that in here. We then use this as a, a stabilizer. And then we install the filament. If we take the filament out, and then we need to place that through this small hole here. And then we see it coming out. And then that goes into this top top half here, but only after we have told the printer to install the filament. So if you go utilities, okay, change cartridge, okay, load filament, and then it says load filament, heating temperature, please wait. After the printer head heats up, it tells you to insert the filament. So what we do then is we take this filament here and we simply push down. Oh, there we go. And then we wait. And we press OK. And we press OK and then we push down. I can feel the filament being pulled in by the printer head for an automatic feed. Then we come down here. Once you see the filament coming out of the nozzle, then you know you've loaded the filament correctly.